Stay connected with what's happening in the Kadena Force Support Squadron with Papa Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, Betty, how good it is to hear your, what do you call that, a Yahoo? Yahoo? You missed Betty, didn't you? I miss, I just, I love Betty. <laughs> Betty's like uh, our only groupie. So, and since we've been on a hiatus, and you know, Gary, the opposite of hiatus? No, this should be really good. Tell me. The opposite of hiatus is at each us. Yeah. <laughs> at each us is, uh, it's actually a person at hiatus at. <clears throat> I get it. It's not funny. You won't tell the joke, Scare? Okay. I mean. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to Cup of Joe. Uh, this show is no joke. All right. Ooh, We're... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we, this is the show where we talk about what's happening in the best force support squadron in the Air Force. And... Thank you, Betty. And for this show, we're going to talk arts and crafts. Shannon from Arts and Crafts is going to be here. And we're going to talk about, you know, some art. And crafts. <laughs> hey, man, you stole my line. I was working it. <sighs> Arts and crafts. They got a big event coming up in January that was typhooned out called Meet the Instructor. We're going to get all that going again. Plus, this is a... It was a, when? Uh, back in October. Yep. Was that when it was? I think so. That was typhooned out. Typhooned out. Yep. So now we're going to do it in? January 26th. Cool. Gary, I'm glad to see you're so interested in that. You got an instructor you want to go meet? All of them. All right. Well, you can go to meet the instructor and see Gary meeting all the other ones. Anyway, we're going to talk arts and crafts, not just to meet the instructor, but the whole thing, frame shop. This is, this is kind of an arts and crafts time of year. I'm just, I sure feel it. Do you, Gary? Not as much as you. Well, <laughs> that's because I'm a professional. And I, anyway, that's Cup of Joe. We're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we're going to talk with Shannon, and we'll do that right after these Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keepsakes are valuable mementos. So why not make your keepsake worth keeping at Keepsakes Plus? Our state-of-the-art laser engraving turns a drab black into a beautiful commemorative. On-staff artists can place your artwork or logo on just about anything. No job too big or too small. Make your keepsake a treasure at Keepsakes Plus in the Kadena Arts and Crafts Center. Can I help you? I need this framed. I need it done right. And I want it done fast. The Reisner Juice Bar. Wowie zowie. As everyone talking. Sweet sassy molassy. Jeez Louise. Before or after a workout. Great googly moogly. Part Take my hair. Out. Holy shnikes. Or just because they are so tasty. Shut my mouth. Shut. Lick my leg. <laughs> Shazam. Okay, so good. Doodly. 
Stay sharp with tasty treats from the Reisner Juice Bar. What you talking about? Check it out! <laughs> Welcome to Cup of Joe. We were just discussing the water bottle. You snuck that in on me, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Gary's water bottle, you okay with that? Okay? Good. All right, good. Okay, we're going. We're going with the water bottle. Cool. I like that. Shannon, Arts and Crafts. Welcome to Cup of Joe. Thanks for coming Thank here. Thank you for having me. And we're going to talk about arts and crafts stuff because there always seems to be a lot going on. Always. <laughs> always. Now, is it just me? Now, I have to admit, okay, I'm not, uh, you know, your typical arts and crafts kind of guy. Right. Right? But it There's seems. not too many. <laughs> guys, you mean? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, Gary, he's kind of arts and crafty. 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 Yeah, baby! <laughs> Okay, Gare. Um, but it just seems like that October, November, December time of year, is that like the arts and crafts time of year? It is. I mean, this is really all new to me as well. So ah. um, I've noticed that over the year of working there that this is the season for sure. So how long have you been working there? Since February of last year. Okay, so you've gone through all the seasons. Mm -hmm. So it definitely picks up. Absolutely. So what are some of the kind of things people are interested in this time of year? I mean, what do they come there for? Well, we have a lot of holiday uh, classes going on. Um, some free classes. We're doing uh, ornament classes, like a washi ornament. Right. Um, she does the egg where she drains the egg out and does the washi paper over it. Oh. Um, she does that with just the glass ornament. Um, we've got origami. Uh, creative clay, that we're doing little clay figures, like a gingerbread house that they can come in and paint. Um, now, are these mostly kids that do this kind mostly, of stuff? Mostly, yeah. I mean, the, the adults can come in and do the origami. I mean, it could be a family thing. Parents right. are more than welcome to come, you yeah. know. Um, but yeah, it's it's mainly kids. and. About what ages are, are they? Um, well, they start as young as five, and they go all the way up till 13, 15. Okay. Now during the like during the holidays, the Christmas holidays, you have stuff going on there with with classes and kids and things like that, or is it just all December? Um, it's it's all it's all of December. Okay. It's it's all the time. I mean, mostly it's the same classes, but just with a holiday theme. We do them all year, but just a holiday theme. And I guess you go from holiday to holiday. I guess exactly. what, what, what's after all the New Year stuff? Valentine's Day, Valentine's, and March, then. St. Patrick's, April, Easter. Boy, I guess it never ends around there, huh? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Is there ever a slow time? Uh, I haven't seen you haven't that. Haven't seen one. No. Uh, May, uh, the end of the school year is when it picks up a lot. A lot of the kids come in and they do yeah. field trips and stuff like that. But. Uh, All right. So you have the store, the arts and crafts right. store there, right. where you sell. All. Arts and crafts su supplies. Yep. Uh, we just got a huge shipment of Christmas decorations, and we are just blown away with how quickly it flew off the I know. Shelf. You were telling me earlier that you had all this Christmas stuff that just, bam. Yeah. I know. Yeah, the BX ran out of lights, and then we got lights, and they were gone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It was so, amazing. <laughs> but you said you got some new stuff in? We did. We got a lot of the uh, kids' craft stuff in. Uh, we've got canvas and paint brushes in. Oh, okay. A lot of paint by numbers. Uh, we got a lot more stuff coming in. Um, we'll see when it gets here. It always I, takes yeah. forever. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, Christmas rush is. I guess every year it's kind of different. I yeah. don't know. You haven't been there long enough to know the yeah. history, so. Yeah. Now, when you talk about classes, I know one of the things that you tried to do back in, what was it November, October, September, whenever it was, the meet the instructor thing, yep. and we had a typhoon, we right? We did, mm -hmm. and had to cancel. So we're going to ramp that back up again. Yep. Well, when, when, what's the plan on all that? Um, it's going to be January 26th, uh, 1 to 5 at Crafty Things. Uh, That's building, a Saturday, probably, it's right? It's a Saturday, yeah. yeah. Uh, building 435, across from the BX. Um, uh, families can come in, they can meet the instructors. The instructors will all be doing demonstrations. Um, they'll have examples of the class, um, answer any questions you have. Uh, then the families will have an opportunity to do a free, uh, free craft. Um, hasn't been decided yet, but um, yeah. they can come in and do that. Um, it should be fun, I mean. Yeah, this is a good chance, especially, I guess, if you're 
thinking about getting involved exactly. into some kind of class. This and will before be a you good make way. that you right. know, commitment with money, then you can... And, or even to see, you know, do I really want to do this? You can go exactly. there and kind of get a feel for it, exactly. I guess. So you're, not, everybody's really nice, and they're more than willing to have, answer anybody's questions. Now, we did these series of little sh little vignettes on mm -hmm. Meet the and some of the instructors, mm -hmm. and gosh, I think we, what was it, Gary, like 16, 17 of them? So, 18 of them. 18 wow. of them. Yeah. And so it ranges from photography to sewing, knitting, all kinds of things, so... Ceramics and ceramics. watercolor and acrylic painting and drawing. And, and it's not just kid stuff. It's like some of the photography classes are, you know, they could be for adults too. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we're yeah. going to be playing those shows yep. again. And I think you were in one of mm -hmm. them, right? Which one were you in? I do the creative clay sculpture. Oh, mm -hmm. you do that class or were you just... No, I teach that class too. Oh, did it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're an instructor and an arts and crafts employee. Exactly. Too. Okay. I'm all of the above. <laughs> so we look forward to all those and seeing mm -hmm. we're going to start those running this week with, with all of this. So that'll be a real fun time. Now, yeah. within, the, I get confused, crafty things, all right? Now we go by the name crafty things sometimes. What is the crafty things? Is that the whole thing? It's the whole building. So that includes the frameworks? Yes. The wood shops, all everything. Mm -hmm. So it's all crafty things. Yep. It would be the same as say in the arts and crafts center. Yep. But we can't. We go crafty. by both. Okay, gotcha. Now you got other things in there too. Let's talk mm -hmm. about some of the other things. I know you got uh, the the balloons. Yep. How, is this a time of year for balloons? <laughs> it. You'd be surprised, but it really, really is. And um, we always have helium. We we haven't shorted out. There's a worldwide shortage. Yeah, I know there was a real helium crisis that went on not too long ago, right? Yeah, there had was it. one in May, and then we had one just recently, but our guys have been keeping it stocked. They've been doing great, and we haven't ran out yet since I've been there. So definitely stop by and pick up your balloons. We just did a big order. We have every color, every occasion. Yeah. So do you do like uh, decorative bouquet, balloon bouquet type things yeah. or individual? We've do you got custom uh, them for different kinds of parties or? Yeah, we can do. I mean, it doesn't get too fancy, but we do do the bouquets. We time on the weights for you. Um, you can pick your strings and your colors, and mm. we'll you know stagger them nice and. Okay. And they can you place an order and they're ready the day you want to pick them up. You just come up, sign your name, and you're out. How busy is Frameworks been? Frameworks is incredibly busy right yeah. now. I think I think it's a really good gift for someone. You know, like I know I'm doing it. Like frame a picture of the for, kids and yeah. send to grandma exactly. that kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. You got a great staff there. They know what they're doing. Lots yeah. of options. And they do some nice stuff too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So Frameworks is still going strong. Yes, the balloons they are. are going strong. And what's the little place there that you do like engravings and Keepsakes? stuff? Keepsakes. Keepsakes. Yep. Keepsakes Plus. Yes. That's right. Now, what are now? They're busy during the holidays too, right? Oh yeah, they're doing uh, a little. They're doing specials like for the holidays, like these little ornaments, like with the Tory gates, and then it has Okinawa. Right. For hanging on the tree. Yep, and then it has like little Star Wars Cadenas, and it says Merry Christmas in the oh. day. They have colorful ones, they have wooden ones, they have plastic ones. They've been selling like crazy. They're, oh, really? Yeah, they're, and they're only like a dollar or two dollars. So you can have something engraved on them? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. I got one special. Um, my husband works on Fort Buckner, so we got special ones for Fort Buckner. And Fort Buckner? Can, it's right next to Camp Foster. You mean there's really a Fort Buckner? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a little guy. <laughs> I did not know that. I've heard that. <laughs> a lot that. of people have it, but. So, okay. All right. Well, we won't get into yeah. that, but yeah, that uh, we'll talk about that later. Right. Um, okay. So then uh, uh, all that's great going to steel. You've got the ceramic shop, which is a, uh, it's kind of one of them little secret places kind of hidden back there. It but is. It's just so well equipped and yeah. stocked. And I mean, they have four giant kilns. They have the pottery wheels, all the glazes you can think of. Yeah. Um, a ton of molds you can get any you know anything you want molded and they'll just killing it up and you can glaze it yep. and fire it again and you're set and they have and that's a good gift too they're know. involved in the whole classes thing too right yep, they I mean, do they ceramic bisque painting they do pottery uh, we have a local uh come in his name's jorge he does local yep. pottery we know jorge yep. yep he's been there for years yep he has 
he's great. I don't I don't know how he does it. I mean, yeah. you could not know a lick about clay, and you go in there, and it looks like you're a professional. He's really, really good at what he does. Yeah. And his name's Jorge, but he's a little Okinawan guy, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. He's so got a he, little bit of Spanish. In does him. he really? Yeah. You know, I've never asked him about, you know, what's this Jorge Ask business? Ask him next time. Uh, you know, <laughs> I will. He's an interesting uh, guy. He is. Maybe we bring him in here sometime. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now the wood shop, of course, it's, you know, every time I go over there to visit, I kind of come through the wood shop. And it, yeah. it just seems like no matter what time of day, there's always people in there. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, and that's another great holiday thing. You can come and whip up something for your wife that she's been wanting forever, or you can pay the guys to do it for you. I mean, either way. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> might be a better option. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know what you're doing, you, they got you covered. But uh, you have to like go through a class or something, I yeah, think, to um, show that you know how to use the tools. Absolutely, it's just a safety brief type class. Um, it's every Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, they do it about, I think it starts at like 5.15. It's about an hour. Yeah. Free class. Just come in. They'll give you a little certificate. They can come in whenever you want. Okay. So it's always a hustle and bustling place over there, right? Yeah, is it, is it just seems to be like that all the time? Mm -hmm. Every time I go in there, it's just people always running around. It doesn't seem to matter about what time of day either. Yeah. I think just everything combined, you know, like it's just, we, we never stop. I think one of the best things you got going over there is your location. Mm -hmm. You know, location, Absolutely. location, location. It's uh, right across from the commissary Absolutely. and the BX, and um, and for all those people that like to use your parking lot when they go somewhere else, right. come on in, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> yes, it does, and it's a small parking right. lot. Right. So those folks are welcome to come on in mm -hmm. and browse around, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, um, anything that we didn't talk about that you wanted to talk about? I know that uh, the meet the instructor is the big thing coming up in mm -hmm. January, so we're going to be hitting that a good bit. Yep. And I'm kind of anxious to see what kind of crowd you get for that, too. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. So, is this your first meet the instructor it is. event? Yeah, I've only been teaching for, I don't know, four months. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, it's been, but they this is like an annual thing they've yeah. done in the past. Yeah, this is the first one I've been here okay. for. Okay. I'm kind of anxious to see what kind of crowd we get. Yeah, I hope it's good. Hope it is, it's too. Worth it. Okay, Shannon, thank you. Thanks, John. Appreciate you coming by. Of course, anytime. And uh, we need to get you into the the regular circuit. Yes, okay? we should. Okay, we'll work <laughs> on that. And that'll do it for this cup of joe. Uh, we are working on, in the next couple of weeks, getting the big guy himself in here, Santa. Ooh. Turns out Santa Claus happens to pass through uh, Okinawa from time to time and we're, we're with his people and we're trying to work it out where maybe he can come by and, and talk to us a little bit so cool we're kind of excited about that <laughs> the most famous guy ever right Santa Claus is going to be on the show so we're working that and we'll let you know about that and we'll see you next week years old, said put your hands in mine, and then 900 years more.